Hey guys, I want to make a quick post in regards with NCLEX review and pharmacology. Now the fact is that pharmacology will always be a big part um, in your NCLEX exam. And as a matter of fact, it can actually be a huge catalyst in whether or not you are going to pass or fail your exam. It is quite important for us to focus um, a lot on the content that pertains to pharmacology and medications itself if we are reviewing for the NCLEX. Now the NCSBN, which is the National Council of State Boards of Nursing. Now please let me know if I made a mistake. Um, these are the people who are responsible for developing your NCLEX exam. Defines the category of what they call pharmacological and parental therapy as a subcategory within the area of what they call physiological integrity. Okay, now I will talk about this later on. This is an area of the exam. Now they define this category of the exam is an area in which the nurse, which is you, right, is basically providing care related to administration of medications and parental therapies. Now, I want to be more specific. To be more specific, pharmacological and parental therapy would include questions pertaining to contents like, let's say, side effects, right, your adverse reactions from medications, contraindications and expected outcomes of certain meds, and also proper administration of the medication. Now they can also interlink any of these factors in connection with proper management and prioritization which is pretty big with the NCLEX. Prioritization of the patient in regards with the medications being taken. Okay now to begin this review I want to focus on a particular specific topic which would be towards the drugs and medications that is mostly used in patients with hypertension. So I want to focus on hypertension. What is hypertension? Hypertension, as we all know, is a term used to describe high blood pressure. Now, what is blood pressure? Blood pressure is the measurement of the force against the walls of the arteries in our, in our body as the heart pumps blood throughout the body. Now, in nursing school, hypertension can be described as a systolic pressure above 140 um, millimeters of mercury, while the diastolic pressure is above 90 millimeters of mercury. So, what are the treatments for these patients? First, we need to focus on the lifestyle changes for the patient, and that would include weight reduction, sodium restriction, um, proper exercise, and a smoking cessation or cutting smoking. Now, if the first mainstream of uh, treatments, which is the lifestyle changes, does not produce the required or necessary results that we want for the patient, then we might have to give the patient medications. Now, there are four main categories of uh, medications that we might, that we can give to a patient with hypertension. That includes, first, are the diuretics, second, are the calcium channel blockers, third, are the ACE inhibitors, or what we call the angiotensin converting enzymes, and lastly, are the beta adrenergic blockers, or simply the beta blockers. So, I will be going over each group and its corresponding medications belonging to each category that you will most likely encounter in your NCLEX exam and I will go over the important content such as adverse reactions or side effects and implications for each drug that you must know for your test. All of these information will be available to you on the show notes which is posted on allnursingnotes.com that's A-L-L -L, nursingnotes.com. Study hard and good luck!